want to see how the fruit are feeling. We want to see if they feel well. And by putting them in the jars and checking their respiration and the ripening gas that they're producing, we can see if they are going to ripen normally. You've got to remember the bananas are alive. When you ask people what they think of a scientist, they always say it's an old man, bald, glasses and a white coat. It happens every time. When I first started working here, I was the first female research scientist here. And I think it would have been nice to have someone else to look up to. Does this usually happen? Yes, it does. It's um, what's happening. I guess I'm hoping that because more and more women are moving into science and into physics, for example, then there'll be more encouragement and more, I guess, more of a role model for people to look up to or to, to just mould their aspirations and their lives around. Okay, great. is a three-dimensional image that's recorded onto a sheet of film or glass in a similar manner to photography but you use a laser and by using a laser directly on the object you actually end up with a fully three-dimensional image of the object but it's only made out of light. It's permanent and you can see it there forever and ever whenever you want to look at it again it's always there. The images that you see in my holograms have really to do with very personal memories and I suppose when people look at the kinds of images I make which are of domestic architecture and houses and landscapes, they're views without any people in them and it's like a memory because when you remember a place you don't usually remember people there because they spoil the view and it's like giving you a memory that you can always go to, a place that you can sort of sink into. My research work is involved with speleology, that is the scientific study of caves. As I'm exploring a cave, I feel very excited. In fact, it's almost like getting drunk. One wants to continue on and on and find as much of the cave as possible. has many uh, facets but the, the one of course that interests me most and the one that I know most about is, is the uh, intertidal zone of the seashore. It's perhaps the richest of all the marine environments and it's a fascinating one. There's an awful lot still to be learned, many lifetimes work in fact and uh, I could just keep on going. The project I'm working on now is called Wishful Thinking. It's a science fiction project, I guess feminist science fiction, and it has a three minute part in it which is set in the Australian desert. In approaching technology I've been trying to think about my ideas first rather than letting the technology dictate what sort of ideas I should be using. For me, that's the attraction, 